All right, Daniel Road, TradeThePlan.com. Yesterday, in the in the video that I had uploaded, I was talking about wanting to hold this to potentially break through this channel, and then I went ahead and exited, talking about, you know, I could be wrong about this, in that this may be simply a one down or an A down, and then an A, B, C back up for two, or maybe a B, and then we could come down uh, in a third wave down or potentially a C wave down. So this may just be A, B, C. I'm not sure yet, but you can see what happened once we actually made it to the top of this channel here. See? Look at that big extreme churn bar on the hourly. It's crazy, right? Perfect. And now it's come all the way back down to this trend line from low to low. So it could be that we're, you know, still poised to head up, but we're not at the bottom of that channel. And I would be reluctant to connect to that high anyway, because that's a report high. So I would either use the highest closing price or that lower high. And when I use that lower high, we've lined up perfectly there. You see? So I've already missed that that low but this is a really difficult one to buy if we make one more low then I may I may go ahead and try to buy it if we come back near 4100 yeah look at that unbelievable big two bar pattern right at the high on the tick chart it's pretty nice see I did have a long set up there already right at the low hmm. all right it's pulled back I've got this on the MES right now, micro ES. Order submitted. Order filled. I'm going to go ahead and get into the first two there. And then I'll get into up to six on the MES, the micro. So yeah, the daily is sitting right on that trend line. And um, and if it doesn't turn up hard and fast from here, I'm afraid it's going to go back down to this one. So this is the last attempt at uh, trying to catch this long, this next big move up. So far, so good. If I were long more contracts, I would scale off on the way up if it goes up. But since I only have two, I'll see what it looks like when it gets to this first area. It's pretty much the same on the minute chart as it is on the tick chart. And uh, if it blows right through it, then I'll, I'll hold for the next area, which is between 32 and 33, 35 really. All right, there it is. You got a churn bar. I'm going to go ahead and take one off there. Target I'm going to close it. Target I'm done with that. I don't... I don't think I'm making very much on the micro. 123 bucks. Give me a break. Oh, it's a tenth. For some reason, I was thinking it was a quarter. No, the micros are... Okay. I'm changing this back to the ES. Alright, since I messed around and tried to trade the micro ES instead of the ES and only made 160 bucks or whatever thinking about trying to get into the short. I've already got the signal, so this would be from the 10 minute chart right here. So that's that little low before the final high and then the parallel from the widest perpendicular bar. So we've gone straight up to that. Nah, I don't think I'm going to mess with it. I'm, I'm still thinking that this is going to go up. 
to a new high. I mean, it's already moved up quite a bit out of that low. I don't think I'm going to mess with it. I'm just going to wrap this video up and get to work. I have a lot, a lot of stuff to do. I've got emails to send out. Got to get the trading room products set up properly and then crank out some training. So I'm just going to stop trading for the day and focus on all that.